Hey guys, this is Manak and you're watching Civil Bro. So in today's video, we'll see how to design a simple truss using Tecla Structural Designer. So we'll start with the basics. Let's open a new file. Just click on new and you will open a new file in the Tecla Structural Designer software. So now we need to go to the model and then construction levels and then create some levels here. So we'll insert a level below here and we'll just give it minus 1.5, which is the foundation level and this can be the plinth level and then we'll insert a level above and we'll call this as your you know we can call this as tos if you are using a steel floor or we can you know call it as ssl or if you are using a normal rcc slab and then we are going to insert another level above this is for the you know maximum height of the truss so we'll click on this insert above and the spacing will do this as your uh let, let me give it as 1.5 here and this particular, you know, spacing, this particular spacing, let this be three. Okay. So now it's uh, the foundation level or uh, the base level is at zero and the foundation level is at minus, you know, 1.5 meters and three meters and 4.5 meters. So this is, these are the, you know, levels which we have created. Now just click on okay here and we'll create a simple, uh, you know, uh, grid using the rectangular wizard so just click on next next and next and then uh, let's create here two and uh, length let's give five meters and here also give this as two and length is five meters and just click on next next and then finish so this is a normal you know grid and let's select some columns you can give rcc columns you can give steel columns so suppose you're using rcc column here just select the column and as per the you know uh, the country which you have selected you will have some standard sections to choose among the columns here you can just see the grade of the it this particular thing i'm choosing fp 490 available in the indian market and uh, design section uh, you can change here or you can just change the section directly here and uh, suppose you want to go for i want to go for uh you know a medium section sale and i want to go for this one and click on select and we will just insert the columns here like this and like this let's take the 3d view go to structure 3d and you can see these are our columns here so now uh, we'll just go to the structure base and here we'll insert some beams here so uh, beams will just change the grade of this particular uh, you know steel and after you know changing the grade of steel and we can just change the section here is the ismb 350 so uh, i'll go for ismb 250 here and then select and then we'll just insert and place all the beams here like this so now you can see in the structure 3d these are the you know beams and you can copy this beams to the uh, you know next level so let's go to the next level here levels and go to structure one here and in this we'll just select the beams once again and make sure this is fp 490 because this is what we are using and ismb 250 is already selected we'll just keep the beams here like this and we'll give beams here like this and now we want to check out in the structure 3d these are our beams which have been provided now let's select the truss. So for selecting the truss, just select on this truss and uh, just select this pitch proof option to you know start with. And after that, just select this point and select this point. That is the two points have been selected. And the, after that, you can go forward. Click on next, next. And here you can just select the type of truss. So I'm going with the Huawei truss and the height as we had given here, 1.5 meters height is this one. As you can see this one, 1.5 meter. It'll fit exactly in the level which we have created. And then we'll just, uh, we can just control this number of divisions. Suppose you want to get three divisions. So here and three divisions here. So it will be like this and then click on finish. So as you can see, this truss has been made. Just select this truss and go to, you know, edit and then copy. And then just select this truss and press the, you know, Press the mouse middle button to you know pan and then click on here and then click on here. And after that, just close this and click on escape. So this truss has been made, and now you can go to home and uh, you can go to model 
so let's uh, provide some beams here and uh, here uh, we can provide here let's provide is so fp 490 ismb let's give a thinner section ismb 150 and then select and then we'll provide the you know beams here so, so let's select this and select this select this and select this so like this you know similarly you have to select like this and you can also provide the bracings here as you can see this uh, let's go for next brace and select this and uh, then select this and then select this and then point four so like this the bracing has been click click uh, selected so the you know option of creating basing is like that first click second click and third double click or else you can go like this like first click second click third click and then fourth click okay so this is easier first click second click third double click so like this you can provide your you know bracings as well so i'll provide alternatively these bracings So if there is any error, you can modify it. So bracings have been applied. So now after you know you have provided the bracings, you can just go to your model and then uh, just click on validate here. So if everything is okay, uh, then you can proceed forward. So here in the model, you can have the option of your roof panel. Just click on this roof panel and create these roof panels here. Single click and then single click here and then single click here so this roof panel has been created here like this so single click single click single click and then you can double click here okay so like this these roof panels have been you know created obviously you will need the you know roof here you can also provide you know wall panels here uh, if you need for but for now i'm just going to keep it like this so and in the you know structure base we'll just provide some uh here we can provide some slabs here so we can provide a steel deck i can just uh, check the specifications depth and all you can check and you can provide the steel deck slab like this so it's a steel deck in the plinth level and after that we have a steel dress click on validate and everything is okay so let now let's just provide some you know loads here so let's go to the structure base and uh, we'll provide we'll select here you know your dead load and in the dead load let's go to your loading and uh, we'll select here uh, your level load and let's give a load of uh, two kilonewton per meter square for the dead load just click on this and also let's apply the live load or an imposed load here as well imposed load also will apply you know two kilonewton per meter square here and this two loading has been applied you can see here uh, dead load and then the imposed load so this imposed load and dead load have been applied here and let's uh, go to the roof level so now for the loading of the loops so you have some uh, load combinations already made here uh, you can just you have this uh, select combination option here and you have this you know other options here so first of all just uh, you know select uh, this you know loads here and uh, suppose you want to go with the service load and uh, suppose you select the area load so let's apply the area load here first of all we go with an area load of uh, one uh, it usually is the maximum load which we can do consider and it will be a long element just to give this one you know load here and after you know you do that you next you need to apply the impost load so for applying the imposed load, go to load cases here and then you have this imposed load here and in this imposed load you can just uh, do here just uh, you know you can copy this and uh, you know this can light here roof imposed roof imposed and uh, after that uh, you can just click on ok and we can take here the option of roof imposed and make this along uh, you know make this projected and you can just apply the required imposed load suppose i am just going to apply a roof imposed load of so 1.5 here and i'm applying this load here as the area load okay 
So after this is applied, just click on escape and after that click on validate. So once your model has been, you know, validated, all the loads have been applied since, you know, it is a building less than 10 meters. So there will not be any, uh, your wind load, just, uh, go to your loads here and we have to apply the seismic loads. So the current seismic zone is five. Just click on next and ignore seismic below your print level or structure base in here. Importance vector will be here one because this is a normal building and click on next here and we'll use model response spectrum analysis. There are two methods and structure type uh, you have to decide here. So first option is RC moment resisting frame and then this RC steel composite uh, moment resisting frame building and then a steel moment resisting frame building without any masonry infills and uh, we have an option of all other buildings. So, so we'll select steel moment resisting frame building without any masonry infills for both the cases fundamental periods click on next and this type moment frame systems here and just select this you know rc building with special moment resisting frame moment frame systems and rc building with special moment resisting frame then click on next include all the weights here and then click on next here and then click on finish so after that just select operating and then next and we have the load combinations all the limited load combination selected let's click on next and then click on finish and uh, click on load combination once again generate the combinations next include all the limited combinations in terms of if you are using is code or if you're using other code that will be a little bit different click on next next and then finish and then click on ok after that click on validate model is validated and after that can just go to design and click on design all static you can wait for some time depending on your system speed and the you know model which has been made and after that as you can see the model has been designed and suppose you want to see uh, the results here the section you know you can see the section here right click on it and uh, just you can see here uh, you know report uh, trust and you can see the report here that you know every you know frame which has been selected section details you can see here and uh, you can see whether it is pass or fail here and uh, in this you can just have any other option also you can design the foundations also like you design foundation of normal buildings everything is the same and also you can just check out the data of other things so friends if you found this video useful do hit the like button it helps to reach more people and you can also follow me on linkedin i have given the a link of my profile in the description bye bye